Well, if you have a teen or preteen at home, they're probably an all too familiar sight. They're also becoming more common around the office. I'm talking about headphones. But while listening to your favorite music might be good for the soul, it could be bad for your ears. Anchor Lee Jordan tells us how to save yours and your child's hearing. I just kind of pop in my earphones and use that as my jogging buddy. I can definitely, definitely crank it up a little too loud sometimes. Like many of us, Jennifer Cavassi spends a lot of time with earphones on listening to music. But sometimes she hears ringing in her ears afterwards. That's a sign she may have done some damage. The number one cause of preventable hearing loss is noise exposure. Metro Health ear, nose, and throat doctor Joe Carter says the biggest problem is that the effects of noise damage aren't seen until years down the road. And with the way MP3 players work now, they're very capable of putting out very high volumes. And with the long battery lives they have now, it is possible for a child to listen to that for six, eight, ten hours. Dr. Carter says volume and time spent listening are the two biggest variables when it comes to hearing loss. Add on to that those earbud type of earphones that sit inside your ear. The thought is that the earbuds just transfer it much more directly without any attenuation or spread of the sound directly into the ear. So um, it's uh, thought to be a little more dangerous. And while the trend now is going back to the bigger types of headphones, don't assume they'll spread out the sound going into your ear. Some fit over your heads more like ear muffs where they're really quite tightly coupled. Uh, and that's not necessarily good either. Dr. Carter says signs of noise damage can be seen as early as your late teens and early 20s. So what can you do to save your hearing? First, turn it down. The basic rule is if I can hear it when you're listening to it three feet away from me, it's too loud. I've gotten better with it in my older age. <laughs> but yes, I will not deny that I definitely used to listen to my radio at, at obscene volume. Because each type of MP3 player or phone has different volume settings, Dr. Carter says you can't just say that halfway up the dial is okay. Just use common sense. There are some devices out there that can limit the volume that comes through your music player. Also, take off the headphones and use speakers when you can. But again, watch the volume. On your side, Lee Jordan, News Channel 5. Dr. Carter also suggests that people get periodic hearing exams. And if you or a loved one are showing signs that there might be some hearing loss, get checked.